In early January, Xiao Wei had already heard about a mysterious new pneumonia in her city, Wuhan. She recognized it as a serious disease which might spread like SARS. She guessed everything right except for one thing. I never thought that I could get infected. That's it. Things started going wrong for Wei in late January, the night she came back from a bar. First coughs, then shivers. We're using a pseudonym for Wei, and her voice has been distorted to protect her identity. At that time, I started feeling a bit congested in my chest. It felt as if something was pressing against my chest. I felt stuffiness. It was a little hard to breathe. Her situation worsened. Symptoms went from sore muscles, shivers, and pressure in her chest to difficulty breathing. Wei said she also had pain in her head, kidney, heart, and stomach. The Centers for Control and Disease Prevention list chest pain and difficulty breathing as warning signs of coronavirus. Wei believes she is a coronavirus patient with mild symptoms, but she has been denied medical treatment for that because her test results came back negative. Wei suspects her test results were manipulated as part of a cover-up of the real infection numbers by Wuhan authorities. In a social media conversation, she said to her friend, In Wuhan, you can still get nucleic acid tests. But no matter how many times you test, the results always come back negative. Hers is not an isolated case. She said a friend tested positive for coronavirus in early February. That friend was then tested again multiple times, and her results all came back negative. She says she knows a girl with similar symptoms who was denied treatment in Shanghai. The hospital wouldn't give her nucleic acid testing or medical treatment. She tried several hospitals. The responses were the same. Desperate for treatment, Wei posted on social media platform Weibo looking for help. Chinese authorities say the nucleic acid tests are accurate only 50% of the time. Other alternatives include gene sequencing and blood tests. Wei wasn't given any of these options. A video said to come from a Wuhan doctor has been circulating on Chinese social media. The man in the video said he heard that two major hospitals in Wuhan had stopped giving out blood tests. He said blood tests are the better alternative for diagnosing coronavirus, but they've been halted for political reasons. Reporting by Hong Ning, NTD News, New York.